Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some more vintage jewelry haul. Yeah. Just when you think you're making progress, I I feel like I'm kind of shifting the C H I T. You know, I'm just moving it around. I mean I am selling some craft lots and wearable lots, but you know, with working a lot it's hard to get them done. But I have to I have to set that as a priority because I need to move stuff, get rid of stuff. Sperry. This is really pretty. I like the um flattened big link. Very nice. But I don't think it's an attention getter in my my display thingy. Oh. It's missing the other part. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's missing the other piece. Because it won't fit. Well, that's a disappointment. Look at this Avon bracelet I found. And I lost it and then I found it. Do you think it's cute? It's adjustable? Or does it look weird because of the adjustable? So... I love belt buckle bracelets. So... I like it. Anyway. These are interesting. Cool color. I don't know what they're made out of. It doesn't seem like metal. It seems... I don't know. But they are pretty cool. Definitely lightweight. That's the nice thing about them. Are they missing some paint or is it just the way that it's... Oh, it's almost got like... Flecks of paint on it. They're wearable, right? This is a set old with a heart kind of and a rose and it's got the earrings it's got wear on them unfortunately with a little aurora borealis in there yeah With the wear, I, I wouldn't say that they were 100% um, wearable. Because when I make the wearable lots, I don't mean, you know, just like you're going to wear it. It's, you know, there are resellers out there that buy the wearable lots to resell. And, you know, when it's got wear, you know, that's, that's a different situation. So, unfortunately... And not to break up the uh, the set, so I'll put it together in the, what do you call it, craft. This might be 800 silver. I think that says 19 something. I don't think it's 1982. Could be 1902. A little bit longer here. It's got the can of teal and some swirly silver wire. I love that tomato uh, red. It's really old. I don't know. Do you think I should put it in the booth? I don't know. 
hard decision. Little Santa. Looks like kind of like enamel and copper. That's what it's looking like to me. Very cute. JH. Not sure what that is, but I guess I could save it for Christmas. I don't know who's gonna see it. It's so small, but I could bundle some Christmas stuff together, right? bags are just gonna go in the garbage because they're so dirty this is feels kind of handmade it's got black velvet on the back and some beadwork it's really sweet looking I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Really cute. Well, well, this is definitely crafts. Beat up, beat up, poor thing. This is nice. This could go in. Too bad it's not also a pendant, though. You know? I like when that happens. This is glass. Because I think somebody's more often going to wear a necklace than a pin nowadays. And so. But it's pretty. This is. Not signed. hard with the ridges sometimes you think they're words and they're not I just don't like the stones in it you know oh my thing is they're not the greatest this is very cool it's one of those butterflies that are just like metal Korea with a patent number. Metal with that enameling and kind of sugared. Like it has a little sugaring on it. It's got a little imperfection there. I don't want to mess with it because I might take some more of it off, but that could go in the case. Monet. Backwards? Oh, for some reason, I thought it was going to go the other way. That's pretty. Kind of hearts. Uh, I think it's a heart thing. But a little update on my um, display. Um, I have sold some things. I didn't check today, but um, they don't update it uh, until after 6. And you go and check and you can see if you sold something. These are something for the winter. White Luster Morvella. So I sold the tintype photo with the cases. I sold two yes two scarab items i sold two coin items so pretty excited about that i sold a locket and i don't know which one so i'm kind of like need to keep track better this is a nice old one i think this i'll put in the case it's kind of reverse painted bird beautiful and i really need to keep track because you know, it's in my brain. I'm saying, okay, well, the coin stuff is selling. Put more coin stuff. I don't know if it's one person that bought all the coin stuff or is it, you know, multiple people saying, 
Do you like coin stuff? I don't know. This is um, that stone that I forget the name of. That's just the way it's cut. No, does anybody buy this stuff? I don't know. I mean, it's neat. It's not agate. It's um, something else that I can't remember. Yep, I'll put it in that pile. The pile of possible display case. It is pretty. Surprise it's not marked. It's not, but it's in good shape. Probably a little more modern. Do you think it would be something for Valentine's Day or Christmas? Possibility. But I'm definitely going back there and taking out the little tchotchke things I have in there. I think I'm just going to put some seasonal stuff in there with the jewelry when it comes around. But I'm not going to put all the knickknacks and stuff. Just take up space. It kind of looks, I don't know, farty. Okay, this is Peking Glass. And I found some earrings. I think I'll put that in there in the case. I like the Peking Glass a lot. It's really neat. Hey, this is a bracelet and I swear I just saw the necklace. match this. Is it Trafari? Yes. Anybody see what I did with that necklace? Probably in the I don't know, I'm not sure category. A leaf earring. An angel. Oh, it's Monet. We, that's a Christmassy thing. Let's put that in. The, I'm not sure because I might find another earring. This, I might find another one. This is um, some milk glass with some frosted bead. Angels. People buy them around Christmas time or maybe any time. I don't know. A pretty enamel rose. Oh. Wearable. This has a lot of wear on it because it's old. Oh man. Little buttons. Ooh. Mm. Oh. These are gold filled. You don't find many of these. I mean, I don't. Gold filled buttons. Hmm. Now this big thing. Cadoro. That's plastic. Cadoro. What do you think of that one? I don't know. I gotta think about that one. This one's really cute, but it has like a bubble, I feel. Maybe not. That's Christmas to me, you think? Hey, somebody asked me for green earrings. This guy, when I was putting stuff in the case, there was an older man that was right behind me. It scared the crap out of me. Uh, I turned slightly. I was like, whoa. He's like, you have any green earrings? I go, no, 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 not today. Oh, these are coral. Oh, these are pretty. I got your green earrings right here. So, yeah. The social distancing thing, I guess, is a uh, thing of the past. 
which is weird because uh, you should have been doing that in the beginning. Like gives people their space. I know I do. I try not to crowd people even before this whole thing. Try not to crowd. That is crafty. Just when you sneak up behind somebody, practically whisper in their ear. Got any green earrings? Uh, see, I love this, but look, you can tell there's damage behind it. Like it was, it's foiled. Isn't that terrible? Reminds me of a dirty pool. Dang. But somebody can craft with that and maybe, you know, it would look nice in there. Um, like a, like a tiger's eye cabochon. I have some more somewhere, but not that small. I'm going to have to throw it in the crafts as much as I hate to. It's really cool. Um, could swear I have another one of these. So that's in the, I could swear I have another one pile. These are neat. Big red. Uh, put these in the wearable. I don't know if they would attract too much attention. I hate thinking like that. I know, but this is nice. It's got a little issue there. That's pretty. I don't know. What do you think? Heavy duty old Hollywood. This. There's that green around it, but it's like a carved shell. How would I? It needs to be soaked in some vinegar or something. I think that's supposed to be the erupting volcano in Hawaii or something like that. This is really pretty. I love the way that the the leaves are folded. Has some high reflection. I thought it was wear, but it's really pretty. This is pretty too. Pretty tangled is what it is. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, now I, I'm excited to check to see if I've sold anything, but then I get upset when I don't. I'm like, Phew. you can't tell. You really can't tell because I thought, oh, I I didn't sell anything on Saturday or Sunday, which is disappointing because it's the weekend. But and then there was one like I think on a Monday I sold something. So I was like, well, you just never know. Can't count out the count those days out, you know. You never know. Listener. It's pretty, but is anybody buying these? I don't know. I guess I could throw one in and see how it does. Right? Give it a whirl. This is really pretty. I don't think it's gold. Well, you liar. It's got some very tiny writing. Oh. MG. Yeah, it's um 14K RGE, so. I think rolled gold electroplated something like that. It's really pretty. That's for Valentine's Day. If I could find like a like a gold filled chain. Super pretty. Oh, what was this in the bag? Oh, a shell. That's what it is. Well, that's pretty too. It just needs um 
little ringy dingy and it's nice. Shift in the stuff. This weighs so much that it's just it's odd. And this little thingy up here. And these weigh they're so heavy. These dangles are heavy. I mean, it's cool. I don't know why it's so heavy. I don't know. Happy elephant with the dangles in the sun. It's wearable. This is that lightweight metal, like um, usually marked Germany. Mosquito or something. Oh my gosh, Sarah Covertree. It's a choker, all right. It's wearable. It's very comfortable, very lightweight. I wish it was longer. Some mother of pearl, dyed mother of pearl. Is that a class box? Oh, barrel. There we go. I thought it said something. I never see them say anything. Do they make sterling ones? It's cute. I'm going to put it in the craft. Dolphins. Not marked anywhere. Some people love dolphins. I'm going to put it in the booth. This cute little pin. Wearable. Not a big fan of dolphins. Not, I mean, I love all animals, but I don't purposely seek out dolphin items. Let's just put it that way. This is like an enhancer and a pin. Glass. That would go in my display. Some 80s earrings. Or earlier. Crafty. I would say that's Christmas. St. Patrick's. This is a nice double uh, bracelet. I like the chunky bracelets, I have to say. Why isn't it closing? Because uh, it's broken? Does if you don't have it on just right. Or just it's broken. Well, I'm glad I knew that. Oh, snapped. Probably won't be able to get it open now. But this is a nice bracelet. I'll probably rip off a nail trying to get it open. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Not bad. This is a little off to me. Doesn't this seem a little off? I can't imagine wearing this around your neck. It's got that. It's chunky, but it feels like it's, it's off a little bit. But I think it's a good fall thing. This metal mushroom is adorable. I really like it. I'm gonna find a chain for that. 
Here's that necklace I was talking about. Remember the earrings? They go, right? Ooh. Not a hundred percent, but yeah, they do. I need to keep that together. I brought down some Ziplocs that were new, but now where did I put them? So, because I wanted to keep the sets together. So I think I think this is a good something good for fall to put in the display. Missing. Dang it. Seen better days. Let's say Germany. Yep. That's really cool. Not sure if I have the other one though. Story of my life. This is like the courting couple, but just the woman. The woman. This would be for fall. It's older. It's got some wear. But, you know, when somebody... If they want to get it out of the case and take a look, and they could say, like, hmm, you know, and I will price it uh, reasonably. Oh, I love this ring. It's got a piece of art glass in it. Oh no, it's too groovy. It's too cool. I don't know what to do. Think about it. Something for fall, but I mean, who's gonna, like, can I see that leather? I don't know. I mean, it'd be nice in the display. Okay, all right. Talk myself into it. This is for crafts. This is just uh, an old hair clippy. It's cute. Who doesn't love the mushrooms, right? Love me some shrooms. A cute Seiko. I'm to watch this. Find a lot of these. The fake um, freshwater pearls. Still wearable. The hematite look. The hematite look. Three cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. It's wearable. It does look delicious. I can't watch the uh, Food Network anymore. It makes me hungry. And they don't have very many keto-friendly recipes. I mean, you can ketofy just about anything. You really can. But still. I don't want to just watch it and be like, oh, I don't really crave really crappy, crappy stuff, but this is pretty. Oh, I was looking this for this, uh, looking for this for Easter. These are cute. They're big fat Easter eggs. These are pretty. It's missing the back. I think I have the other one. Yeah. This is fancy. So maybe you're around the holidays. Somebody's looking for fancy earrings, right? I know I like fancy earrings. Virgo. Somebody might like that. This is a nice back. Pink. What? 
What is it? Tulane? Is it a baseball or a football or a basketball? I don't know. It's old. These are adorable. I love them. I don't know why. But it's the tiny little chain that goes back and forth with these little delicate seashells that remind me of pasta which I haven't eaten in forever but I think they're adorable and I hope I have the other one this is really pretty it's um you know Elsie I always forget what it stands for, but they're nice. They're it's pretty, like a champagne color. Weirdly. This is pretty with the pink. Look at that on there. I could use that. That's cute. I don't know what to do with it. Wearable. Copper. not marked but kind of like um, <clears throat> Renoir right they make a lot of leaves I don't know if this is stained or just I don't know an old Tonex I put that with the watches Oh, I want to give this to my daughter. This is um, a pin for that group. Oh, this is this belongs to the that one pin. Oh, what do you call it? You know, insane clown palsy. Yeah. Okay, now I got it. Will this fit with it? I'll have to give that to her. This is little mother of pearl beads. Really cute. Oh, see if it's gold filled. No, I guess it could go into crafts. It's not in the greatest of shape. Christmas. Was this hanging on something or something? Something or something? Copper and wood. Mm. Oh. Well, hoopy hoop. Oh, I remember these. I really like them for some reason. It's like frosted glass. Like they had a bead and they just shaved the top off and it has a different color. Um, it's Austria. Do I have the other one? Perhaps. I remember seeing this somewhere. Or maybe it was a different shape. Maybe. And then find the oh, here's the little. They're so cute. They also remind me of teeth. Don't tell me there's a knot in there. Oh, it's just hanging a dangle. So cute. 
These are glass beads. And I think it's Monet. Google Glass. This looks like, you know, the thing, like the gavel was attached to something else. I'm not sure what it was attached to, but it can go in the crafts. This is all plastic, kind of frosted, not in the greatest of shape. I put that gavel to the side because I know somebody who asks me for little things like that and I know if I put it in the craft box and they say, hey, you know what, I'd like to have that gavel, I'm like, ah, let me dig it out. This is pretty. It's uh, enamel on copper. That's wearable. Nice little ring. I don't know if I have the other one. This is a big, huge mess. It's a shame, too, because some delicate things in here that need to be untangled without breaking it. Oh, 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 I did it. I did it. Oh, well, I did one. I like this necklace. It's just, um, sequins. Not sequins. It's a long necklace with these tiny little stones. It's so cute. But a lot of them are darkened, so I would put it in the crafts. I don't know if I'm going to ever get this untangled. Oh my goodness. I think... What is this? What is that? That's weird. That's like Pennsylvania Dutch, right? Get a lot of those. I think because a lot of the bags I was getting were from um, the person who has the antique shop. Goes to Pennsylvania a lot to get stuff. Like I said, I'm hoping, uh, fingers crossed, that we're gonna hook up this weekend and get some of my bags. I'll be really happy. I mean, it's been so long since I've had those. And any of the ones that I've seen in the antique mall are just, oh no. Just total, total crap. Like, kind of makes me annoyed like because some of it's like just really dirty and just stuff that I I personally would probably just throw out you know some people get upset by that because like they can craft from crap but if it's really dirty and smelly and weird I just not doing it sorry Stop my garbage, because I'm not keeping it. You know? It's, it's, it's not even something you could donate. Why would you want to expose somebody to rotting things, you know, metal and stuff? I had this in a multicolored 
bracelet. Oh, I see. I see. I see what you're doing here. You want to get yourself self stuck in this little thing, don't you? Yeah. I think this is silver. Sometimes you just have to do a close up and see what's going on. I think it's because, yeah, the little hook things. These are plastic. And I had one that was multicolored. It was really cool. I think I put it in a wearable lot. But this is just clear, but still very cool. See? Like little ice cubes, little sugar chunks. Yeah. How do things get like this? Oh, I don't know. What's that? Ladybug. My daughter always has ladybugs in her bedroom. It's weird. Let's see. This is a little two cute little ladybugs. Aren't they cute? Do they bite? I think those are, they are dolphins. These are cool, even though it's kind of darkened stones. Oh. I think some of these matches are in the drawers because I have tons of jewelry everywhere. Plus I have the old dresser down here and I was putting the jewelry in the dresser. Wasn't helping as far as keeping it organized or just keeping it out of sight. <sighs> so that has to be cleaned out and going through. These are kind of cool. This is nice. This is black and clear glass. I have a lot of ear, um, a lot of these hung up, which was a good idea, but not all of them. I'm just wondering why I have them all closed. Make it difficult on myself. I like a challenge. I have a brooch that matches that necklace. Something for Valentine's Day, which isn't too far away, right? No. I guess it is. It's after Christmas. Okay. This is a long woof. It's pretty. That could go in. What is that? See this big honking thing? This is what's... This is what's the problem. You're the problem. It's not me. It's you. The big snowflake. It. BJ. I thought it was going to be JJ. I don't know who BJ is. I know BJ Thomas. I forgot what. 
what soggy things. That could go in for wind. How did that happen? It went back in. Oh my gosh. Didn't I have it untangled? Ooh. There we go. Oh, oh. I think raindrops keep falling on my head. BJ Thomas. Oh, look at you, Hook. Yeah, that's the Pennsylvania Dutch thing. I have a lot of that. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, Yvonne. Trying to figure out if this, oh, it's a tag. I'll be all right. It's like a tag, something holding something together. Oh, hassle, hassle off. Let's see. Oh, this is like um cha-cha bracelet. I've really never heard that until I started watching videos about jewelry. Cha-cha. That's what I call it then. Anything with some danglies hanging off of it. Cha-cha. Yeah. This is a big mess. Hey. Is a winged horse. What is that called? It's not a unicorn. It's something else. Ah, looks like a um, 1928, right? Kind of, sort of. Uh, Pegasus, right? Well, these hooks aren't helping. Mm -mm. Um, I had a couple of people email me about sending stuff to other countries, and I, I'm fine with that. 1928, I'm fine with that, you know. Uh, just I think today I looked up one in I don't know what the city was, I don't think it matters, it's just Australia. A wallaby or walla walla or I don't know. And uh yeah, the medium flat rate uh I mean small flat rate box once you put in f more than four pounds it goes from twenty nine dollars to I think thirty eight. It's pricey. Like Canada. But you know, I understand that if you live somewhere where you can't get vintage jewelry and you like it, you know, and you know I have good stuff, you're seeing it right here. It's not like that mystery stuff, which I cannot believe. I looked at eBay on some of these boxes, this mystery untested junk draw. Uh, then they throw something that looks decent on top of it. And I've seen them go for hundreds, like $800 because it claims to be untested and, uh, whatever. Even if that is a sterling ring sitting on top, that's not worth all that money you're paying. But then again, it's not my money. Not my business. It just makes me go, What? And you can't dispute something like that. So I'm saying, like, if somebody gets one of those and they're not happy with it, you know, there's nothing they can do if they say, hey, you know, unless it's something in the picture they didn't get or something like that. But, mm-mm. I'm not going to do that. 
These are yellow. If I just shake the crap out of it. Anyways, these are yellow and uh, plastic. Look like those knocky things. Those ball things. I got a package, one that's in the package. The click clacks. Somewhere in the package. Click clacks. Oh, look. Jade. Yeah. It's somewhere in the closet. I don't think I sold it. I don't think I sold it. I don't think I did anything with it. But I would like to find them. That was fun time. The click clacks. I'm sure my mother hated that sound. Her tail was shaking. I don't really mind the sounds of toys, like when my kids were playing with something noisy. I didn't, it doesn't really bother me. You know, there's certain things, noises that bother me, but that, nah, it's like have fun, keep busy. Dolphin. If it's keeping you busy, keeping you out of trouble, keeping you from sticking that, what is that? <gasps> Wait a minute. I seriously got that other earring stuck up in here that I got loose before. I was gonna say, oh, sticking the key, keys in the outlet. My nephew did that. He was little. And a dime up his nose. Let's see. Can you believe I did that? I could hear my daughter complaining about iced tea. I told her I was just going to get her an IV of iced tea. Oh, sweet tea. No, she doesn't say it like that. But I lived in Georgia for a little while, and like when you sit down in a restaurant, they don't give you water. They give you sweet tea. I have to say, in Georgia, I've had some of the, you know, pretty tastiest tea. Back in the day, some sweet tea, like a and a slice of orange in it, it was pretty tasty. And there's no Pepsi, there's no everything is just Coke. It doesn't matter what it is, it's Coke. Because they have the, they did have that um, factory there in Georgia. I remember going to different, you know, when you go into a soda machine, the Coke was ten cents. We're talking about 1985. Cha-cha. Not going to make it. But, yeah. Soda. I used to drink grape knee highs. And orange soda, grape knee highs. Mm. Yummy delicious. Yeah, this is a big mess, guys. Poor thing. I think it's mostly these little tiny things, necklaces. So this is something to work on later. Because I don't want to break anything. Got a couple of cute little necklaces in here. This is a double strander. That's another problem. This doesn't have an opening. Double strander. That is cute. Does it say something? You talking to me? No. I gotta do a live soon. I 
done one in a long time. Just not good at it. As as far as like reading comments and sometimes I just ramble and go on and on. It's like, ugh. But I'm going to make another video at the antique mall. Try to do the rounds and eventually get to my display. I want to find a good time where it's quiet. I'm sure that's during the week when I'm working, so. All right, I'm gonna leave this alone because this is giving me a headache over here. It's in this case. Oh, this, I love this. That could go in there. It's very, um, what's this? Oh, Austria. Very galactical. Galactical. These are cute. $27. See, and Sternstone doesn't exist anymore. They do not exist. Not, not here in New York. These are nice for fall. Big and chunky. Do we have the other one? If I can't find it right now. I'm just going to put it back in this case because I don't want to lose it. Oh, this is something that I wanted to fix like two years ago. Not this. mark on it. it really looks like it's it wants to have a mark but it doesn't pretty brushed gold speaking of galactica did you see that bezos the flying whatever that was Oh boy. Yeah, this needs uh, just a blue bead. I'm going to fix this. Going to fix it. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Are you with me? That it's worth me finding a tiny, tiny blue bead. And I think I did put some in a bag. I must fix. Come on. Cute little Avon. This is, it's not even real um, marcasite or cut steel. It's just trying to look like marcasite. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. Just saying. Green. China. It's China. Gold. This needs a loop-de-loop. -loop. It has wear. I'm going to put it in the craft. Yeah, not everything from China is, you know, bad. You know, the older stuff, but it doesn't really say China on the older stuff. I think it says... Um, Hong Kong, right? This is pretty, but it's missing its, uh, stone in the eyeball. So that could be crafted with. This doesn't open. You would think it would open, but it doesn't. Oh, butterfly. Oh, my hands are cruddy. Aren't these cute? I don't know, they're cute, right? This is cool earring. Do I have the other one? Yes. 
Stone stones. Yeah. Confused myself here. And there we go. I don't know. Do you think they would look tacky or cool? I guess they're cool. I answered that for myself. That's an old um, thingy for a watch. I like the way it looks. This is worn. Oh, like why is there an elephant on that flower? Oh, it's two elephants. I'm like, I'm trying to think why he had a trunk in his belly. Cute. Where's this go? It's, it's really cute. Would somebody even see it in my booth? I love this. Like, how would you wear it like that? It needs to be cleaned. Like, if you were to pop that out and clean it and put another pearl in there, it would be so pretty. St. Patrick's Day. Beat up. I find a lot of those. Metal butterfly. Aw. But yeah, so many things I want to fix. What is that? Those are weird. I don't even know if I have the other one. I don't, I'm not seeing it, but I'll keep it in here just in case. It's a bunch of stuff that I don't know what to do with. But I really want to find this other earring because those are really cool. All right. Oh my gosh, we're at an hour. If you're watching the end of this, thanks for hanging in there. I got a ton of stuff to put in the wearable lot, craft lot. And my booth. And a lot of stuff I don't know what to do with. And this ring that I think I want to keep for a little while. I think I'm going to do that. It's nice for fall. I don't know. I'm goofy like that. Like brown things, fall. Okay, so I'm typical. Brown and fall. It's really cool. Anywho, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. If you want to email me, it's um, vintage.discoveries at, oh, vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com. And um, send me an email if you're interested in something uh, that I've been showing. Then it's fine because it's on the table. Sometimes if it's an older video, it's very difficult for me to find something. But thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.